Good morning. It's uh, 6.30 a.m. here. I uh, got a little bit of a late start today uh, compared to what I wanted to do, um, but we're out here. We're going to put some uh, some first honey supers onto our hives. Uh, we've moved them all out here into a canola field. Uh, this particular field is, is not yet uh, bolting, um, but there are other fields coming into bloom in the area, and uh, so we just want to make sure that we have uh, a little bit of space on the hives for, for the bees to store away some honey. This canola here is just bolting now, uh, a little bit of bloom starting on it, so in the next uh, few days we should start uh, seeing some honey coming off of this uh, here field. And uh, a few hives uh, set up in this area, it's a nice protected area, and hopefully we get a good crop off of it. The last item on my list today is uh, a queen cell transfer into my incubator. So I'm going to take, I believe it's 40 cells from that last uh, graft you saw me do out of the 45 um, were actually accepted. So those will go into the incubator for the weekend and I believe they're set to hatch on either Monday or Tuesday. So when we get back from the weekend we'll get straight into putting those into mini nukes. As many as we have I think we're going to run out so we might actually have a few cells extra which is great and then I have one more round of cells in the uh, in the builder just to fill in any any holes any spots later on which uh, might actually uh, not have made it so we'll just take a look through the the mini nukes later later on this month uh, or into actually next month I guess uh, just to see how they're doing just before that next emergence and fill any uh, any holes any dead spots and in, in our uh, nuke rearing operation I think I have 108 mini nukes of different styles altogether that I'm trying to utilize all of them this year so we'll see how that ends up all right so I'm not sure where my torch went so I won't be able to use smoke this morning which kind of sucks for something like this it's nice to give them a little bit of smoke But, we've got our brush here. This is the only time I use this brush. So some people will tell you the brushes are completely useless and I thought it for a while until I started queen rearing. And the reason I use the brush is because, uh, the reason I use the brush is because you don't really want to shake these uh, queen, queen cells off. Uh, that will probably damage the cells and then you have a bunch of useless cells to, to deal with later on. So what you do is you just gently brush them off and they still don't like it but uh, that's the way it works. Can't have everything you want in life. Okay, I think I got pretty much all of them here. Four misses. 
Out of 48. It's a little bit more than I thought I had. Take these over to the side of the truck there and put them into our queen cell carrying case. My uh, queen cell carrying case is actually a sample size essential oil case uh, and uh, they work really nice actually so I'll, I'll actually drop a link for that. Uh, I believe it's uh, an Amazon uh, product. Uh, I had to search for it for a bit just to get the right size because the, the regular size bottles for essential oils are a little bit too big um, but the sample size ones, they, those holes, they work really nice. So I'll put the link down in the description below for that. these off. I like to put them straight into a cell protector that way I don't have to mess around with them later on and uh, it just helps a little bit if you have uh, freshly made mini nukes or anything like that and you want to ensure that uh, give yourself a little bit of a, a leg up to ensure that they're not tearing down cells or uh, just to protect the cells a little bit while you're transporting them really nice uh, to have them in a cell protector but look at those pretty nice cells actually I'm quite impressed still have some jelly left in them so that is very nice kind of stuck to the frame here though slow going so this should fill out any of the remaining mini nukes that I have available. Hopefully I have enough bees to fill those mini nukes. And then uh, we'll probably have a few queens to sell later in the season if anybody's looking to do late splits here in Manitoba. I don't ship queens but uh, we uh, we'll probably have a few available for pickup. first rounds I usually keep them for myself so it uh, kind of cuts out part of the market because everybody wants their queens in May or at least in early June and typically I only have queens left in the end of June and into July it's into July this year probably July 15th or so I might have some queens available Right there are my cells. All nicely stacked in there and ready for me to use later. We'll take these over to the uh, incubator now and uh, put them in there so they're ready when we get back. All right, folks, that's it for me today. We've got some room for honey on the colonies. We've got our cells taken in. Really, we're just waiting on some queens to be bred and some cells to emerge and some honey to come in. And it's going to get busy through July here with doing splits uh, while the uh, honey flow is on. Probably towards the end of July, mid to end of July, will take a little bit and then a little bit more after we do the, the first, first honey pull. Uh, and uh, hopefully that gets us close to our numbers. I know we're going to be short of my goal, uh, which originally was 175. Uh, right now the way I'm looking at it is if we can get above where we were last year uh, or more, I would still like to get to 150, but I would be happy with 120 right now, uh, just because there's just not enough bees to, to make them the amount of splits I want after we've kind of reduced down um, by selling and consolidation. 
uh, in anticipation of a, a larger project that uh, we're working on here. Uh, should get started in the next few weeks.